Welcome. Today we will discuss what to expect in your exams and how to answer examination questions. Now, what do you think? You will know what to expect in exams if you get the syllabus. Because no examination is set outside the syllabus. The syllabus sets out, look, the syllabus sets out the scope of the course, it sets out the aims and objectives, the syllabus sets out the structure of the exams, and the syllabus sets out the grading system. So the syllabus is very, very important to know. All right. Now, the structure of the examination that the syllabus sets, you need to know it long before you get into exams, right at the beginning of the course, the structure of the exams. You have to find out, are there multiple choice questions? That's objective questions. Are there theory questions? And theory questions, sometimes there are compulsory questions. And the syllabus will let you know which areas of the course the compulsory questions will come from. If there's a practical paper or practical papers, questions, the syllabus will let you know. So the syllabus is very, very, very important. You will know the structure of the exams from the syllabus. Now two, what to expect in exams? You also need to know what the examiners expect. What examiners expect is in the philosophy of the course. So what is the philosophy of the course? Let's look at it. Yes, so now you need to know what to expect, the expectations of the examiners. Because the examiners have a, certain things they are looking for in the questions. So you can know beforehand which type of questions will come in because the expectations of examiners and teachers and everybody is for you to know the facts, understand the facts. So there will be questions on just knowledge of the facts. There will be questions on understanding the facts. There will be questions on applying the facts. You see, applying the facts means what you have learned, you relate it to other issues. That's application. What you've learned related to other issues. And there, are, there will be questions on application. So as you study, look at, at the application of what you are studying. Then examiners will ask you questions whether you discover any new facts. So they say in, induce or infer, all right? It means what you have learned, what do you get out of it? What, do you, what new things do you get out of it? That's the infer or deduce questions, all right? Then examiners will ask questions to find out whether you know any new technologies, all right, or new discoveries concerning the facts you are learning and whether you yourself can work out a new discovery from the facts. So these are the mind of examiners. They will ask you about the facts, straight facts, whether you understand, whether you can apply, whether you have discovered new facts, induce, infer, so what do you conclude? All that is on discoveries and technology. Good. Yes, now we want to discuss how to answer examination questions. First of all, let's look at multiple choice or what we call objective questions. These questions are very crafty questions. The questions are structured craftily with decals and camouflage. And the responses to are crafty with decoys. All right, so never choose quickly you read the question, the first answer you choose. No, read the question well and weigh all the answers because the answer will not be too clear after all. And the question too will not be too visible at all. So read questions and responses very well. Now, if you don't know 
the answer don't just choose anything close your eyes and say okay i don't know so i shade it here no do elimination eliminate read if you slept well and your mind is working well you can think and eliminate the most unlikely responses you will land on the right response now remember that each question is one mark and it's very important because it's easy making 10 marks in objective questions than making 10 marks in theory. Yes, now we want to look at how to answer theory questions. Well, for example, you've been asked to choose three questions out of five questions and each question is 20 marks. Let's say you did two questions and you know the two questions very well. You don't know anything about the rest. So the two questions, don't spend all your time answering the two questions. You spend all the time answering one question. You will never get more than 20 marks. So answer the questions you know very well, fast. And then the third question you don't know, look at the questions you will at least have one that you have a little idea of think and put down something now we want to look at an example of how to answer a theory question yes so let's look let's use this example to answer the theory question write an essay on how to conserve a food resource of the family this is how you go about it one First, write down as a draft any response or facts that come into your head. Then two, sort them into similar points. Then three, group the similar points into paragraphs. Then four, write them as final, not draft, and rule out a line to cancel and cross out the draft. So this is what quickly came into the student's head and he wrote all these facts. Now, if you look at the facts, keep well, storage place is one, is the same idea as protect from pests. So it has one, one. And then if you look at, so he will write first, this is what he's decided to write first in the first paragraph. Then in the second paragraph, he's going to write about add preservatives store well also as one paragraph then regulations on how to use the resource also another paragraph and then how to reduce waste a paragraph how to recycle waste a paragraph so if you don't put down these drafts you can just be talking the same thing about keeping the food results and you will not have many points. So that's how to deal with theory question. Now let's discuss quickly how to answer practical exams. Before you take any practical exams, you should learn all the theory and the practicals because the practicals always depend on the theory. You need to know the theory well before you can answer the practicals. There will be questions on the following tools and equipments and machines and the structure of the tools, how to use the tools, the functions or importance of the tools, any changes that can be done or fix the tools, any improvement that could be made on the tools. Then you have questions on chemicals and materials, what to use them for, how to use them, any differences in changes in conditions as you use them. There will be questions on measurements, how to measure using various tools completely well, how to state units, how to convert other units into other units. There will be questions on design of experiments and design of experiments, how to state hypotheses and all that. Check on my lesson 
on scientific method. Then you have to analyze data, graphs, etc. Then you also have questions on applications and technology. How to use these tools to develop new processes and tools. Yes. So don't forget, you also need to use, study and answer past questions. Very, very important to pass exams. So this is the end of the lesson for today. Thank you and bye-bye. <music>